It is the Zero Breeze Mark II battery powered air conditioner. Mm, have I got your attention yet? Are you hot? Have you been sleeping in your own sweat? Well, let me talk to you about this product. This is not a swamp cooler. I know a lot of people on the internet are pushing swamp coolers right now. You don't put ice in this thing, nothing like that. It's an actual air conditioner. It is gonna remove the heat. It's gonna remove the humidity. It's gonna get it done. So let's talk about it. This up here is an actual air conditioner, 2300 BTU air conditioner. And this is a giant lithium ion battery that operates separately. You can take the air conditioner off the battery and just run the air conditioner through your normal 120 volt wall outlet. And the battery is rechargeable. They say the battery will operate this air conditioner for five to six hours. You can actually pair it with a second battery and get, they're saying six to 12 hours per charge, which is amazing to me that you can run an air conditioner that puts out this much air on two batteries like this and it will run for six to 12 hours. Now, the basic setup of this is, like I said, you can take this off the base. I'm not gonna do it right now because I've got it connected with the cords, but basically all you do is pull the tab and the air conditioner comes off the top. In the back, you've got an inlet and an exhaust. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull some fresh air from outside and then you're gonna exhaust the hot air outside through those. And then if we turn it around on the front side, You've got adjustable outlet right here that's gonna put your cold air, this is where your cold air is gonna come from. And it's also got a return right here, so it's gonna pull some cold air in. This thing is not meant to cool down your truck with the windows un uncurtained and you know Arizona heat. This thing is to maintain temperature, okay? That's what they recommend. Cool your truck down before you stop for the night and then this thing kicks in and kind of helps maintain that temperature all night, okay? So the smaller the area you can create to operate this machine, the better it will operate. Now, with that being said, they do have a few things. Cover you can screw onto here, and then you can put a hose on that to direct the air around to a certain area if that's the way you want it. But the thing for me is, this should be as close as you can get it to begin with, okay? Because to me, you should create a small area in your truck for this to operate. For me, that means closing the center curtain, okay? I close the center curtain around this thing as tight as I can get it, and I'll show you how I set it up, and we'll go through that here in a minute, but just that should be your goal to get a very small area for this thing to work in. It's going to work best that way, okay? Just like any kind of air conditioning. The more insulated it can be from the outside heat, the better, okay? And this side up here where this is the return air, you want this inside the cool zone. So for me, using this and ducking it in from somewhere else, my air conditioner's sitting in the hot part of the truck. So for me, I think the best thing is to get this as close to me as I can to keep the area that I'm going to be resting or sleeping in as cool as possible. Now, the thing operates very easily. Like I said, I've already been using it. You got all your controls up here, you know, power, fan. It's got a light on it if you want, to, you know, if you need some light. You know, it's got a lot of neat little features on it, and they've actually thought about setting this up, okay? And what I mean by that is they send you all the hoses you will need. So it comes with everything you need to set it up. It's got uh, two for the back and then one for the front. And then it's got this one long tube here that we're going to hook up to the back to drain the, the humidity, you know, the, the condensation that it's going to collect while running the air conditioner and removing the humidity. See, that's, that's the difference. That's what your swamp cooler is not doing for you that this thing will do. This thing will remove the humidity. And if you guys, you know, are down from down south, you know the humidity is what gets you. Uh, one of the things I find to be very, very smart is this, okay? That's a piece of packaging, okay? The battery comes in this. This is a very durable, thick piece of foam. And if you notice, there's two holes cut in that. 
Well, that's for you to make a template to get it outside, to get the tubes outside. You simply pop these out, okay? That simple. And then we're gonna work that into the window over there and we're gonna run our fresh air inlet and our exhaust tubes through this. I'm telling you, this product has been thought about. So we're around at the backside now. I've hooked up the humidity tube, as I call it, the condensation drain. I just hooked that up, ran it down. No one ever said I do things the complicated way. I just put it in a cup. You know what I mean? I just poked it through the top of a cup. And uh, that's how it's gonna drain out. Now I gotta set up my window insert. All right, we're gonna get in the back set up. So I will tell you, I, that thing fits in the window very good. That's gonna take very little work to get that to be a very tight seal. And a little thing about this setup is you don't have to do all this venting out the window, okay? This is your inlet, that's your outlet. The other night when I used this, I got up in the night, it was hot. I just wanted to set this up real quick. I turned it on, I wrapped the curtain around it, and I just cracked the windows in the front, maybe like an inch on each side. You know, it just needs a place to vent the hot air out. And if you close the, your metal curtains in here, you're gonna leave enough space up here to deal with the hot air, okay? I just wanna hook this up to really get it efficient and see how it all works. But you can take this back plate off. I've got the uh, hoses inserted in there. Pretty nice little setup through it and uh, clamp those in so it holds really good and tight. But that's just to let you know, like, this is for like the most efficient setup. The other night I ran it with just this open back here, blowing air and closed the curtains around it. And it got very cool back there in the box. All right, laying back here, just enjoying my Zero Breeze Mark II air conditioner, guys. I'm telling you, this thing's worth a shot. It puts out quite a bit of cold air. Of course, the smaller you can make the area you're in, the better off you will be. I can promise you that. I need to put my shades in the front and close my front curtains. Just because, you know, if we can keep it cooler on that side of the curtain it's going to be cooler on this side of the curtain a buddy of mine was telling me he got one of these uh, he put a sheet from the top bunk up there over to the curtain so he's not trying to cool all that up there as well you know that way the cold air is kind of staying underneath that top bunk because it can get quite hot up there so i may work on that but i gotta tell you this thing is super convenient because like i said the other day i didn't even hook the hoses up to the dang thing I just closed this curtain around it like this and turned it on and cracked the front windows and it got pretty cool back here. I gotta say, I'm, I'm impressed with this little thing. For its size, it packs a punch. Now, if you guys are interested, there's always links in the pinned comment and in the description of the video. So, one other thing about it, it does have a money back guarantee on it. If you give it a try and it's not for you, money back guarantee that takes all the risk out of it. So. For me, I see benefit to this thing. And this product is gonna get it done for you if you use it in the correct way. Also, this thing, I plug it in every morning. I turn the inverter on and plug it in every morning before I get ready to hit the road the last couple days and it has been charging. I don't know how long it takes to charge the battery for me because I don't sit there and watch it. I just plug it in then by the end of the day, I know it's fully charged. This thing over time, if it can get it done for you, and that's why I like that money back guarantee, you get you one, you have it sent out, and you try it and work it and see if it's cheaper long term. I know it's going to be cheaper than idle in the truck. You know, even if it cuts your idle time in half, it's going to save you money. But I think it's even cheaper than a generator and an air conditioner set up because you're not buying gas for this thing. You know, this thing charges while you're going down the road. And this thing could pay for itself very quick just in fuel savings. Uh, it's a no-brainer. If you're idling your truck to stay cool at night, this thing, hands down, go order one, give it a try. 